You okay? Fine. Thanks for buying me a month back in the States. I'll use the time to say my goodbyes, pay a few bills, save your sweet ass one last time. <laughs> and it's back to the Emerald Isle. Home sweet home, huh? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> really looking forward to it. Well, you could always uh, catch up with your sister in Barcelona. I might. I mean, it's all, it's all in a flux right now. I mean, a month really isn't a lot of time to be making major life decisions. Or, you know, we could extend your stay. You know, that solution we talked about. Solution? Mm -hmm. Is it? <laughs> you, can't, you can't even call it by its name. How do you expect to go through with it? Well, would you want to? Say it outright. <laughs> then I'll decide. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you ready? Mm -hmm. Siobhan McKenna. <laughs> Would you be interested in a green card marriage? See, I'd always thought that marriage was entered into because two people loved each other. Not that I've spent <laughs> a lot of time ruminating over wedding gowns or wasted rice. Or even fleeting fickle love, for that matter. Yeah, well, falling in love doesn't really guarantee anything, does it? So you're saying that love isn't a good enough reason to marry? Obviously, it's it's the ideal. I'm just saying that there's a lot of other reasons why people do get married, you know? Like, may a baby is on the way, or... To have medical insurance? Yeah, tax purposes. Some arranged? Or they exist, say, to help someone stay in the country legally. So you're helping me out. Is that what you're doing? That's just the kind of guy. <laughs> I thought that marriage was a loaded subject for you. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't been very good at it. Are we really considering this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, well, just in case we are, uh, there's a few more things. I think you should know. Cam and Jake um, aren't my biological sons. See, I, I had a rough patch. And um, actually, that doesn't really even begin to describe it. I mean, I was, I was in hell. I addicted to pain pills, having an affair with Maxie. And um, specifically with, with Jake, not many people know about it for his safety. Because, see, when I was going through all of that stuff, Elizabeth turned to Jason. Jason? Is Jake's father? Yeah. And we agreed that it would be safer for Jake to grow up with a cop for a father than a mob enforcer. Wow. Um, but, I mean, I, I love Jake and Cam with all of my heart. I mean, they, they are my sons in every way that matters. Oh, I've, I've seen you in action. You're a devoted father. But I, I have to ask, if Elizabeth boys were yours biologically, do you think you would have found a way to stay with Elizabeth? I had no business asking such a personal question. I take it back. You know, you're, you're really cute when you try to backpedal. <laughs> you can just skip the evasion and tell me to mind my own business. That's nah, a perfectly reasonable question. You know, would Elizabeth and I be together if the boys, or even Aiden, were my biological sons? Well, don't tell me that you've never considered it. You know, Elizabeth and I have become completely dysfunctional. We couldn't make it work, but we couldn't let it go. And she had to... <laughs> she had to sleep with my brother to finally break us up for good. Yeah, well, in my neighborhood, there would have been bloodshed over that type of situation. I wasn't thinking too clearly for the first few days, believe me. See, I just, I refused to see that Elizabeth didn't really want to get married again. And I wanted so badly to live out this, um, this picture I had made in my head of happily ever after. 
that took the affair finally helped me see what Elizabeth and I are. That's two people who will always care about each other, but should not be a couple, let alone be married. That sounds quite definitive. Yeah, because it is. I mean, I'll never, I'll never say that the affair was a blessing, but it was, it was just definitely time to move on. Yeah.